Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for June 11th, 2019. So yesterday, a little bit of a pop and drop type pattern here on the diamonds, but other indexes didn't see quite so much selling and and now this morning we have the futures gapping up once again it's like um there's just no stopping this market right now um i've heard lots of theories and even read some of the conspiracy theories about you know market manipulation and all these things and that always happens during a move like this but the fact of the matter is the bulls want the market to go up i can't explain it i honestly personally don't understand how we could completely reverse like this when really the china situation has not changed at all certainly we got out of the way of the the potential mexico tariffs but they hadn't even gone into force yet and um and of course, we have a Fed's uh, hope that a Fed's fund rate will be cut from two and a half percent to two point two five percent. To me, that just doesn't warrant a um, thirteen hundred point move in the Dow. But that's what we have, and we just have to deal with what we have. So irrational it may be. But the point is, there's no way that we can, our opinion doesn't matter in the market. As a retail trader, our opinion doesn't matter. And we can see that. And if we decide, if we try to fight this move, if we if we try to predict why this is, we're just going to frustrate ourselves. The fact of the matter is, all we can do is watch price action and follow along with that price action. So with that in mind, what is the price action telling us? Well, the price action is telling us, as of right now with this gap up open, we have the potential to attack this resistance level up here in the chart. And if I pull this back, you can see that resistance also carries through all the way over into here that resistance level so if we get that move up if the bulls decide to push higher then we could attack that area we also have the possibility that we're we have we are setting up another pop and drop where we pop up in the morning and we find sellers the rest of the day kind of pushing back in to that place defending this level of resistance if that were to occur i think any pullback that holds above our 50-day moving average and let's just go take a look at that any pullback that holds above this red line this 50-day moving average could actually set up more bullish price action so let's kind of keep in mind um, that that is certainly possible however if the sellers were to bring this in and push us back down through that 50-day moving average then we would have a pattern here that could be a little bit dangerous for the market and we'll have to watch and wait to see if that would occur but right now the bulls want to go up and clearly they are in control at the moment and although i believe it to be pretty darn irrational in this move there's nothing I can do about it. So don't fight it. Don't dream up conspiracy theories behind it. Just watch the price action. Continue to trade with the trend. Wait for the uh, price action to show you something different. And for goodness sakes, don't try to predict the top. As you can see, it, all those folks that try to predict that this was going to go down uh, are getting literally run over um, in this market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY why continuing its move higher here this morning we had a beautiful shooting star pattern here at the end of the day which would suggest a follow through to the downside but no the bulls don't want to see that they're going to gap us back up this morning toward these resistance levels in the chart and you can see there's these resistance levels in the chart um, right here and so if we gap up here and uh, bulls continue to push forward let's watch these resistance levels if they happen to start breaking that would suggest if they break uh, an attack of all-time highs uh, I, it's hard for me to believe that but that's what the chart is showing and there it is now this shooting star would typically suggest with a follow-through to the downside a lower low today 
we'll have to wait and see. Now, if the bears are going to come in and we get this pop up in the morning and then we find sellers up here and we put in kind of uh, that pop and drop pattern, if that were to occur, that would obviously be a fairly bearish signal on uh, the market. And we could move back down to test the 200 day moving average, or excuse me, the 50 day moving average here in uh, the SPY. If that holds, we're in great shape. If that gives up, we could have some trouble. So let's watch those levels closely. Let's take a look at um, the Q's. Now Q's had a remarkable move yesterday and it was really fueled by a single company, um, Amazon. And I'm not sure what inspired Amazon to rally yesterday. I looked around for some news, I couldn't find it, but um, Amazon um, inspire, I mean, really moved the cues yesterday. And you can see it's gapping up again this morning, trying to move the cues again today. So NASDAQ trying to push up higher here. And um, we came up and we attacked some of these resistance levels in the chart and pulled away from it in almost a shooting star type pattern. As we push back up here this morning with this gap up this morning, if we can push through these areas, it certainly is possible we attack even higher here in the chart. This next level of resistance seems completely irrational to me, but that doesn't matter what I think. What I have to pay attention to is what the price action of the chart is showing me. So let's keep an eye on that. Now, if the bears were to come in and actually defend here, if this turns out to be a pop and drop, type pattern then let's watch for this pullback and we'll want to watch this 50-day moving average right in here um, watch that for a test of support if we can hold that level we could be in good shape if we again fail on through and particularly I think if we fail below yesterday's opening high, or excuse me, opening uh, level, we could be um, in a little bit of trouble here on the queue. So watch that close. We'll just have to keep an eye on that price action. Trade what we see, not what we want or what we believe should be happening. Um, let's take a look at IWM. IWM had a nice rally yesterday and then once again, those sellers came in leaving us uh, with a little bit of concern but now this morning and, and by the way if you look around in the news i really can't find anything that's inspiring this gap this morning um, it just seems incredible that we're continuing to make this run but as we gap up here remember we've got resistance levels above here in iwm and actually significant levels in IWM. If if I were thinking about a short trade, this may be the very first place I would look for that short trade. If we get that failure up in here on IWM, this would be certainly a lower high failure in this chart. And this chart is still well below, you know, it's 200, it's 50 day moving average. So this might be the place where I would look for that short. But right now, hey, there's nothing there except a bullish price action. So Keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX has been odd to me. Um, very odd to me. We get these uh, sell-offs and we get these big price rallies and the VIX isn't moving. That's really, really odd to me that we're not getting any price movement out of the VIX. I don't know what that means. Um, all I can do is read what we've got going on here in the chart. Currently, the VIX is showing us this downtrend, and we are trying to hold on to a level of price support. In the chart, if we move this back, you can see that this price level um, has been active in this chart for a long, long time. So anything through that price level, if we hold in there, could see that little bit of fear start to creep in and we rally back up. But I don't see any kind of major fear um, here in the market. What's odd though, is without that fear, I'm not seeing that fear dropping out either. So kind of confusing here in that chart pattern, we could also look at this as a big old wedge pattern and that price wedge in here just continuing to wind 
in this area um, before we get either a breakout or that breakdown. I don't know which, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, just seems to be rather odd in the price action right now on the VIX. It's like there's it's not participating and that is extremely odd to me let's take a look at t2122 the four week new high new low ratio four week new high new low ratio had popped up here intraday had popped up into this area where we were into that bearish reversal zone and then that selling that came in yesterday afternoon brought us right back down so we are up here in that area and we've seen this this is where we've caught several reversals before uh to the downside but I'm not really sure um, that's uh, going to be the case this morning because we're gapping substantially higher. So we could gap clear up um, into this region. We'll have to wait and see if the sellers come in or if buyers push us on higher and we end up with one of these situations here where we stay kind of in that overbought area for a particular uh, or for a period of time um, whether we can do that over here again I don't know um, honestly um, some odd price action if you ask me a um, little bit hard to come to grips with what's actually occurring here I can't see the catalyst for this I don't understand the catalyst for this but I don't have to I just simply have to trade the price action of the chart that I see let's take a look um, at our economic calendar today our economic calendar could have something to say about the market um, this morning we have the PPI number now the PPI number consensus is looking for a little decline so here again we could see that weakness coming in an economic indicator um, now the question is is that going to fuel the market even higher um, certainly a really bad jobs number last Friday fueled the market higher because of the anticipation that's going to bring in a rate cut can we continue to do that as long as our economy continues to fall apart or show signs of weakness can we continue to rally just based on a quarter point interest rate cut I don't know maybe but we'll have to watch that closely and, and by the way if that comes in better than expected I'm not exactly sure what that will mean so watch that number right here at 8 30 this morning after that there really isn't anything in the calendar to um, really be concerned about at all let's take a look on the earnings calendar today we had about 19 companies reporting earnings i don't see any of them that are really particularly notable uh, except play um, play is reporting this morning and you can see play uh, looks like it's going to get a little bit of a gap up this morning um, on um, its earning well no that reports after the market today so i'm um, just getting a little bit of a lift here uh, prior to the earnings report and then um h and r block is also reporting today um again i i don't expect um hrb to really move the market around so we'll want to keep an eye on that but unlikely to move the market so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day and i want to wish you great profits in your trading if you're struggling as a trader please understand you are not alone this price action has been very very challenging for traders um the whippiness the daily gaps uh very very challenging and really frustrating um um, you are certainly not alone even very experienced traders you know I've been trading uh, for um, almost 29 years or right in there around 29 years and it's frustrating for me um, extremely frustrating there's not a whole lot of edge that you can have as a swing trader um, intraday trading certainly is working on those these quick price moves but um, it's it's a real challenging market and and it's very very frustrating so um, please understand if you're frustrated you are not alone and one thing that you have to do is if you're consistently losing money if you're struggling um, on that on that level where that that capital just continues to disappear please don't fight this market let's let it settle down there'll be plenty of time to trade the market's not going to go away and if we wait for better price action and better times to to jump back in the market or our edge is a little bit better you will see much better results just don't give up your capital and and fight a market that is extremely hard to trade right now okay
Let's take a look. Um, oh, oh uh, by the way, um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click the subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook and click those thumbs up buttons and leave comments. Thank you so much to those of you who take the time to do that. Um, it just means the world to me. Um, all of those, all of those uh, thumbs up, all of those comments that you guys leave um, helps the algorithm show these videos to more people. And I truly, truly appreciate it. Remember, the purpose of these videos is not to predict anything. It's not to give you um, any kind of um, grand uh, uh, benefit to the market. It's just to help you prepare for the day to see those those levels in the market that are important that we have to pay attention to and prepare how you want to approach the market for the day. So if you feel that this these videos are helpful, please do me a favor, share them on your Facebook feed, Twitter, wherever um, you share uh, things social media wise, share them with friends and family. Um, if you find them helpful, perhaps they will as well. Thank you very much to those who do that. So with that, let's take a look at a couple of stocks that are looking pretty good. I, I gotta tell you, it's really, really difficult to recommend or trade much of anything right now because we're either very, very extended in a move or um, we're, we're, we're at that verge where the odds of a pullback seem to be growing. So it's a very, very difficult to be recommending too many uh, trades, too many charts. But let's keep an eye out for a few of these. Take a look at AIG. AIG, nice little tight consolidation in this trend. I really like the way this chart is setting up. And this pink line is actually a price alert. I'm waiting for that trade to pop up here and give me that signal that it wants to go higher. But at the same time, I have to be watchful of this resistance level here. That could be the ending point here in AIG. But if we follow the trend in this pops out, we could see this just moving right on up and AIG becoming a very good trade. So keep an eye on that. If you guys remember, I mentioned Crone yesterday that I was really um, interested in Crone and watching that. I ended up buying Crone yesterday and it is um, it made a beautiful move yesterday right into uh, some price resistance. So um, continuing to hold this, and I've actually sold a hedge um, uh, option contract against this, but this is looking really, really good. It's looking to gap up a little bit this morning. Keep an eye on Crone. I don't know that I would chase it after such a big pop-up. Maybe let it um, consolidate a little bit and offer up a next uh, opportunity to enter into that trade, but I would certainly keep an eye on Crone. It looks pretty good here, um, at least at the moment, and could move higher. Take a look at this HIIQ. HIIQ, nice little move up, and then we had this ugly price action in here, but we pulled back and we're holding in this area. So watch this little consolidating move. As this consolidates over to its trend, we wanna watch for an opportunity Opportunity to maybe enter that trade, HIIQ, and a lot of these healthcare um, uh, companies, healthcare related companies, ha um, have been showing some bullishness here just lately. So you might want to keep an eye on HIIQ, looking pretty good here um, in this price pattern. Not ready for prime time yet, but certainly looking good. Let's take a look at. Um, Disney. I mentioned Disney yesterday, and what I'm watching and waiting for is I want to see Disney rest, come back, pull back into here, and then provide me that next opportunity to enter that trade. This would begin uh, the resumption of that potential uptrend if we can hold a higher low in here. And by the way, it doesn't have to hold right there. That's just a, a level of support. If we pulled down below that, consolidated or something, and moved up, that could still be a potential buy. I just just think that the price pattern would be much cleaner and better if we hold in this area and then uh, get that opportunity to move on up. So I'm watching Disney here. And by the way, I'm watching this based on this big weekly wedge pattern breakout that this has made. I think there's an opportunity here that Disney could enter a nice little trend to the upside. So might want to keep an eye on Disney. And then of course, 
keep an eye on all of these um, defensive sector stocks, um, MDLZ. MDLZ, uh, just an incredibly strong run, just a beautiful run up, recovering its price support. Any rest, consolidation, or pullback in here could certainly set up a continuation of the trend. Keep an eye on those. Stocks like PepsiCo um, continuing to look really, really good. Any rest, consolidation, pullback. Um, could set up the next entry into PepsiCo. So all of these charts I've been talking about and alerting about all along um, have just been doing very, very well on that defensive sector. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you great profits. Remember, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please subscribe to the channel. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I truly appreciate it. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.